The Sacramento Kings have been legit all season, but now they're proving it. The Kings recently went up 2-0 on the Golden State Warriors, giving them a relatively nice lead when a lot of people thought the Warriors had a legitimate chance going into the series to win it. And although people didn't give all that much respect to the Kings going into the playoffs, at this point people are starting to recognize that this team is legit. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. Over the years, the Sacramento Kings as an organization has been known as being one of the worst run organizations in the NBA. They've made some of the worst decisions in terms of drafting, in terms of trades, and even in terms of free agency signings. They were just in a really bad situation, and whenever it seemed like the Kings were starting to build some momentum, they would just make a poor decision to completely throw themselves off the right track. But over the past couple seasons, it finally started to seem like the Kings were making better decisions. They were building through the draft, they were drafting some promising young talent, they were making some decent plays in the free agency market, making some decent trades, and overall it seemed like Sacramento was finally starting to build a team for themselves. But with some momentum they were starting to build, the Kings decided to move on from a promising young player they drafted in Tyrese Halliburton. And at the time, most people thought that was an absolute catastrophic mistake. And even in my opinion, I didn't love the move either for the Kings, I thought they probably should have held on to Tyrese. But when you look at how the Kings were able to play this year, Season and how good they were during the regular season, and now especially during the playoffs so far, I think it's very hard to argue that the Kings didn't make the right decision by moving on from Tyrese Halliburton. And I actually recently made a video talking about this exact thing, of why I thought the Kings actually made the right decision by moving on from Tyrese and bringing in a guy like DeMontis Sabonis to this otherwise young roster of Sacramento. But after making that deal and having all the success during the regular season that the Kings had, they were able to finally make it to the NBA playoffs playoffs for the first time in a long time, and not only were they able to make it there, they were able to make it as a number 3 seed in the Western Conference, which is something literally nobody saw coming going into the season. But after all the success the Kings had during the regular season, going into this playoff matchup against the Golden State Warriors, a lot of people thought the Warriors could actually beat Sacramento. And obviously at this point, the Warriors still could end up winning the series, but so far after two games, the Kings look phenomenal, and it's pretty clear that people didn't give them enough credit credit that they otherwise should have going into this playoff matchup. But now, the question is, why are the Sacramento Kings up 2-0 on the Warriors? What are they doing well out there? Now, the first factor that I want to touch upon is the play of their main two guys in De'Aaron Fox and DeMontis Sabonis. Now, during the regular season, both of those guys did a really nice job at elevating their games as compared to in years past to help the Kings make it to the number three seed and make it to the playoffs. But during the playoffs so far, not only were these two guys able to keep up their really good level of play from the regular season, but at least for De'Aaron Fox specifically and somewhat DeMontis Sabonis, they were able to even increase their level of play during the series so far. And I talk about this in a lot of my videos, but whenever you talk about your best players, you always want to see them play even better during the playoffs than they did during the regular season when it matters the most. So just seeing how well their main two guys have been playing so far this series, in my opinion, is a huge reason for why they're currently up 2-0 on the Warriors. And just talking about De'Aaron Fox specifically, the the way he was able to play at such a high level during his first ever playoff series is honestly incredible to watch and shows he was built for this moment. Now the next factor that I want to touch upon is their supplementary guys. Now whenever you talk about the better teams in the NBA, of course they do have that star power on the roster, but when you talk about the teams that actually win an NBA championship, they have those other supplementary guys that play big roles once it comes down to the playoffs. And when you look at the Sacramento Kings roster, so far they've had a bunch of different other guys step up really nicely for them. Like specifically, a guy like Malik Monk has played a huge role in this series so far and is a huge reason for why the Kings are up 2-0. Like for example, in game one, he put up 32 points on extremely efficient shooting numbers as well, just giving the Kings an extra scoring punch, which they really needed that game. But also when you talk about his game two performance, he put up 18 points on decent efficient shooting numbers as well. Once again, just giving the Kings that extra scoring punch that they really needed. Now, when you talk about a guy like Harrison Barnes, 
Barnes, he's doing a really nice job at playing his role and being pretty effective for the Kings. You talk about a guy in Davion Mitchell who did a pretty nice job in game two. There's just a bunch of different guys on this roster that are really stepping up and playing their role very effectively, helping out the Kings main two players and helping out the Kings as a unit win their games. Now the next factor that I want to touch upon is coaching. Now when you watch this Kings roster, it's pretty clear that these guys do a really nice job at running crisp offensive sets, getting easy looks for a bunch of different guys, but they also do a phenomenal job defensively and play great team defense, which is very important. And when you talk about a team that does both of those things very well, the first thing that you want to look at is coaching. Now their head coach Mike Brown has had a lot of different stints with different teams in the past. Some of them have been good, some of them have been bad, but overall I would consider Mike Brown basically an average coach. But this season with the Sacramento Kings, he's done a phenomenal job with them. And a huge reason for why he's done such a great job with them is obviously they have a lot of talent on the roster, but also they're a very young roster. And a lot of times what you see with younger rosters is coaches are a lot more likely to get their teams to buy in when it's a younger roster as compared to an older roster. And I think we're seeing exactly that with the Kings. There's a lot of guys on this team that doesn't necessarily have the most experience in the NBA, so they're more likely going to buy into what Mike Brown is selling, and due to that, they're playing very well as a unit overall on both ends, both offensively and defensively. But nonetheless, Mike Brown certainly deserves a ton of credit for what he's been able to do this season, not only during the regular year, but also so far in the playoffs, and all the success he's been able to have in both. Now, all the success that the Kings have been having during the regular season and in their first two games in the playoffs so far are great. But the real question at this point is where do I see the Kings going from here? Well, in my opinion, although they are up 2-0, I do think it's going to be difficult to close out the Warriors. I do think Golden State is a very talented team. They're obviously very experienced and they know how to win playoff series. So the Kings, even though they're up 2-0, need to make sure they close out this series effectively. But in the end, I do think the Kings are going to be able to beat the Warriors in this first round matchup and make it past that. And then going forward from there, I do think they actually could be very competitive against anybody they play, and I do think they have a great chance to beat a lot of teams. But overall, for your first playoff performance, this is extremely important for a lot of different guys on the Kings, and of course, the farther they go, the better experience it's going to be for them. I've always liked the Kings' young roster over the past couple seasons, but it's really nice to finally see everything come together for Sacramento, and for them to finally have some success in the playoffs, and even make it to the playoffs as well. So I'm extremely excited to see what De'Aaron Fox, DeMontis Sabonis, and the Sacramento Kings are able to do, not only throughout the rest of this series, but assuming they make it past the series, what they're able to do in the future in the playoffs and see how far they can go. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening with the Sacramento Kings. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think the Sacramento Kings are legit at this point, or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did enjoy it, check one of these two videos popping up now. And until the next time, peace out guys.